So this week, finally, thousand subscribers. But that aside, just for a second, Nando's plus Fanta chicken wings. Look what's coming up. If you stick around, you'll see exactly how I rated them. And were they actually any good? So this week on to the review and a massive, massive thank you to everybody that subscribed. Finally hit a thousand subscribers, although this isn't necessarily a thousand subscriber special, which I will do at some point. I'm not sure exactly what to do yet because I genuinely didn't think I'd hit a thousand subscribers in this year, let alone next year, let alone the year after. So massive, massive thank you. However, this week is the limited edition Nando's Plus Fanta, the legendary Fanta orange drink that I'm sure everybody's aware of, although the logo has changed quite a few times over the years, which I didn't realise. So the logo that I'm using, as you can see there, is up to 2021, and then it goes to a very basic looking blue and white Fanta, just as the word. So I thought that logo looked a lot better, so I just used that one. But either way, um, as a meal, so you get the two side options. Um, I think this is additional cost as i say it's not a, a, a the cost of the original meal which i think was eight pound 40. um the spicy rice adds four pound 45 to it although i think it's slightly reduced as it's as it's part of a meal but four pound 45 for a tiny little box of rice and it is i know again i've said in the past i've not got small hands but you can see the size of the fork there in comparison it's a small box of rice um, albeit it's really good. A little bit of heat to it. The rice always cooked perfectly from what I've had in the past. Check out the previous Nando's video if you haven't seen it. Um, yeah, as I say, a little bit of heat, a little bit of veg, although hardly any veg in it. Um, really good rice, just not that much of it. As you can see there, the ordered items. Um, and then second, the peri peri mac and cheese. And just to try, the grilled halloumi and the um, essentially fudge cake. But the Peri Peri Mac and Cheese, which you'll see now, is again the same kind of, like, it's, it's not cheap. What was the cost of the uh, Mac and Cheese? £5.60. £5.60. I mean, yeah, it's, you know, what, what, what are we going to get to? Double in, in the future and half the size? You know, like £11, £11.20, £12, £13. This is where it's all going. It's not going to get less. Except that, what you're looking at there is going to get less. The money is just going to go up and up and up to the point where I don't know how you, you afford going to a restaurant, having takeaway or anything, but that's not the point necessarily. The point is it's not a lot for what you're paying, but it's really good mac and cheese. So fair dues, it's good mac and cheese, creamy, gooey, cheesy. Uh, the crumb on the top, you couldn't really taste the peri-peri um, sort of sauce to it, but the macaroni was cooked perfectly. It was it was, it was was really good mac and cheese. It could have done with maybe, uh, I don't know, an additional cheese with it. But for the fact is, you can see there, the perspective, it's not very big at all. So onto, and I've had the halloumi sticks before, but this halloumi is two slim grilled pieces of halloumi, just to see what it was like, just to see if there's any difference to the sticks. And it's, it's just, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's, it's decent halloumi, just again, not a lot of it, um, and just really as a, as a very basic side. And that was, I'd say, almost reasonable. £2.25, is, is that reasonable? I don't know, it still seems a little bit expensive, but um, compared to the Halloumi sticks, which I think are something like £6-odd, uh, there might be more. Um, and apology again, as you can see there, camera just refusing to focus. I don't think the light was particularly good this week, so I think the camera is just struggling to pick up the difference of the foreground and the background. And yeah, so it, it kind of trips out a little bit through the video, so apology for that. But the grilled cheese on its own, <clears throat> as a as halloumi goes, was really good. You know, salty halloumi, it was, it was nice. Um, wasn't 100% rubbery, which was kind of good, obviously the grilling, as you can see there, but just not really much of it. I mean, £2.25, yeah. I mean, you could pick up a whole pack of halloumi for probably £2.25 from the local supermarket, but obviously you're paying for the convenience and it's Nando's. Um, so the star of the show, as it were, the Fanta and Perry grilled chicken wings. Advertised versus reality, yeah, they look more or less the same. I, I can't really knock anything off that, but just not to say it's Nando's, they're not very big wings. Um, good quality chicken, cooked well, as Nando's always is, 
But the one thing I'd say is, if you put them side by side with almost a plain, um, you know, wings or chicken from Nando's, I would have no idea they've got fans on them. You can't really taste any sort of orange um, sort of flavor to it. It'd be nice if it was kind of almost like a, a syrupy sauce kind of with them, like a glaze sort of thing on them. But I mean, it, I suppose it is a glaze, but it's, it's barely any glaze at all. Like I, I would say, as far as if you remember in the past disappointment reviews, this is a disappointment review. Um, again, not very big chicken wings, as I say. They cooked well, perfectly well cooked, but the sauce um, or the or the kind of glaze, as I say, is supposed to be between mild and medium, sweet, fruity, and tangy, with a hint of our legendary peri peri. The peri peri you couldn't even really taste. So, as I say, put them side by side with plain chicken um, or just Nando's. Um, I'd say like say like a garlic and herb or something. Um, or lemon and herb, sorry. I, I I would be hard pushed to tell which one was which. So to say that it was kind of, um, and maybe this is why they're not doing them for very long, uh, you can't taste the orange. Like someone tell me I'm wrong maybe, or maybe I just got a bad um, batch of chicken wings. Maybe there wasn't as much glaze on them as there should have been, but they were nice wings and, and the flavor of them had, okay, maybe a little hint of peri-peri, but no heat at all. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna say, ultimately, <laughs> disappointingly, um, not very good. Uh, I wouldn't go out of my way to buy them, especially at £8.40, odd, although it is standard price. So the other thing I thought I'd try this week is the Choc A Lot um, cake, which again, £5.70, am I tripping? £5.70. That's a lot of money for a slice of cake, I I'm pretty sure. It was a good cake, it was a little bit dry and a little bit dense as far as cakes go. Um, the chocolate uh, in between the slices was good, as you can see they're quite thick. Um, it was really, really um, gooey, sort of like, thick, not gooey, but thick chocolate. So if you like, you know, the proper chocolate fudge cake, it's, it's a good piece of cake, but I don't, it's not £5.70 worth, no way. So overall, thousands of subscribers, massive appreciation, but the ratings for this week, mm, six out of 10, eight out of 10, eight out of 10, and nine out of 10. Good cake. Ultimately, I appreciate everybody that's watched and subscribed. And if you haven't already, check out these videos.